What's up everybody, Eddie Sound Eddie back again with another episode of NASCAR Heat Evolution Career and today we are here for the second race of the chase here at New Hampshire. Uh, as you all know, New Hampshire, probably my worst racetrack in this game or anywhere on any game. So uh, we're going to try and push through it and hope that we don't fail too hard, but we probably will. Go, go, go! Let's see what a lap here will get us. And I have a feeling a lap here is going to get us nothing, and it does. 40th place for the second week in a row. We get a dead last qualifying position. That sucks. So, uh, with that, I guess we're going to have to try and battle through again. I'm kind of hoping we finish somewhere in, like, the high 20s. All it's right. Race is going green. And we're on the way here flag. again for, uh, I think this is a 28th lap oh, race, no. if uh, my memory is correct, but usually it's... Uh, 20, 21. Uh, still wrong. This is, seems like such a long race for me. But uh, it might just be that it's New Hampshire and it's one of my worst tracks. I'm not any good here, as you, you've seen if you've watched these before. So, you know how it'll go. But I'm going to try. Uh, I might have to race about as dirty as you can possibly race, and I'll just sail it in the corners like you saw there. But, uh, you know, uh, you got to do what you got to do at this point. I want to try and last throughout the chase but uh i have a feeling we're probably going to get eliminated here at the end of the first round because i believe the next Rainbow. race is dover and that's You're probably not going to go too good for us so we'll see though uh you never know uh -huh. some crazy might happen he's an apron to get around the corners not too great uh this this track i swear i i just i i don't like it Something about this track, I just, I've never been any good at it, and it's just such a weird layout, and the way that there's a little dip in the banking there, and then it goes up, it's weird. So, whatever, it's just me, somebody else no might think this is the greatest track there is, uh, I disagree, so. With that said, as I'm getting shoved through wide, thank you Chase Elliott for your, that, I appreciate it. And I'm just completely on the apron, I see them do that occasionally in real life though, so I'm not like super breaking immersion in my opinion uh but it is what it is we're in 30th we've gained 10 spots so far i all right take there you go there's my revenge i chase out here <laughs> unintentional but there you go they're, they're all so much faster than i am and i'm getting into them again and i'm just gonna rub them down the corner i guess or down the straightaway rather stay low still there Let's see what we can do here. I want to try and get uh, at least a couple of my sponsor objectives. If I can get to 25th, I'd be happy. Clear low. And Clear low. Chase goes on us on the inside again. And Chris Bush is going to get us on the outside. I swear, man, this track, it's just, I hate it so much. I'm so bad. <sighs> anyway. It's been a... Uh, this is like it's been such a long season. I'm taking so many no, breaks during this, this the recording high. of these things that it, it is, uh, I feel like it's been two seasons when it's really only been one. Uh, and then you, of course, count the, the the original 2016 season, which makes Car it feel even longer. So. It is what it is. We're getting a couple spots here now. We're up into 24th, although McDowell and uh, Castler are going to try and change it. But I'm going to dive Car it in high. super low. Get into Brad Keselowski. Sorry, BK. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but it is what it is here. It looks like we're going to actually clear those guys off the corner, so we'll see if we can hold them off. I guarantee no, we won't be map. able to, but you never know. We could always try something crazy here in New Hampshire. Car low. Clear low. All clear. Car and Blaney's going to go by us on the inside. Uh, Matt Tiff just got by us a little bit ago. And looks like he's going to bring Chase Elliott with him. So uh, I'll try to get to the inside here and just dive it in there and see if I can get those back. Nope. Still there. I was going to end up wrecking both of them if I did that. So I was going to right. come on our outside now and I'll block clear. him off. But now he's going to make a look on our inside. Nope. Can't make that either. Now Paul Menard's looking on his inside. So. Oh, and I look in my mirror and I slam in the bullet. Nice. Smoke coming out from the tires. And McDowell's going to try our outside and he gets there just before I can block him off and give him another shot just because why not I'm trying to run that uh, inside groove but or not inside but middle groove but they uh, they seem to get by me on the inside every time I do that although that wasn't too terrible of a corner right there although Ben Kennedy is going to magically get to my inside now I'm blocking three lanes and McDowell once again has hit me and now I'm in the back of playing once again you got to be joking 
<sighs> I hate this track. I hate it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be so happy when in NASCAR Heat 2, when I'm doing the Let's Play of it, I, I won't have to friggin' come here twice anymore. So. The one thing I don't know is I don't know which of the New Hampshire races is getting taken away. I don't know if they're taking oh, no. away the chase race or not, so I'll have to look that up. But I can't really be bothered to do it right now. And Paul Menard just oh, slams across the corner. Nice. Well, you know what, Paul? Let's, let's go to the inside. Oh, I'm going to dive inside. Clear Sorry. Clear I got to there you go. Take that, Paul. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was clear stupid because now everybody's going to get to oh, my inside. Benedetto Jones gets through. There it goes. The three car, Boston Dillon. I'm oh, trying to get on his inside. Three wide. Time to go. And just ran him in the back. And oh, here comes McDowell. Man. This has gone poorly for me lately. All right, I'm just gonna focus and try and get some of these spots back. This race is winding down, and I'm being stupid. All right, Claude Jones here. We got him I'm going in this corner. Hopefully, I'm just gonna dive it in deep. Get to McDowell's. Get equal with McDowell, but he's gonna get us off the corner here, probably. We don't squeeze in the outside. We almost did. I'm just going to sail it in again. That's all I got left. I, if I can't sail it in here, I just move Paul Menard out of the way. There. Racing like complete dingus right all now. All clear. But it's what we got to do. We're desperate. We hit the wall because I can't oh. drive. Paul Menard gets far outside. I'm going to have to sail it in again. Car high. Oh, crap. I didn't quite clear him now, and he's probably going to get us off the corner. Dang it. Oh, and I'm high in the corner. Still there. Great. Great. And, of course, here comes McDowell on my answer. This, I am just, I've had enough. You gotta be joking. <laughs> oh, NASCAR heat gods, why do you forsake me like this? Uh, that's so stupid. Alright, I, I blame my own stupidities on that, uh, on that poor performance there. I've always been bad at New Hampshire, like I keep saying. We didn't even hit our sponsor objectives. We didn't hit a single one. So, <laughs> seems legit. We're going to drop probably even further into points. We're one spot outside the cut line. Which means we're probably going to get knocked out at Dover, I almost guarantee. Let's get out of here. There you go. New Hampshire's in the books. I don't ever want to come back there again, but next we have Dover, which is an not so great race track for me either on this game for whatever reason so be sure to tune in next time for what is probably going to be the last race that we are in the chase for and uh thanks guys for watching i'll catch you in the next one